What's up, everybody? It's John. And Gavin. Well, let's open it. And today, we're back with another historic best of one event. Uh, last time, we played the Auras deck. This time, we're going to play Gruel Aggro and see how that goes. Uh -uh. Let's pick our deck. I called it Red Green Monsters as an homage to the deck um, that won Pro Tour Theros. Or I think it won Pro Tour Theros anyway. At the very least, he was a top eight contender for sure. You better win. Yeah, I did really, really poorly last time. Yeah, you did. Get good. Yes. So Get good. Hopefully we have worked out the strange issues of me messing up the recording cable. Yes. Because I've set up our, our fancy game genic box. Yeah. As a stand. Which mm. you'll see another video on that coming out. Yes. Oh. Game Genic uh, was Three real cool. lands. No, two lands. Two lands, but this is a spell land. Um, and you got Questing Beast in your hand. This actually is kind of a bad mix of lands just because of the Rootbound Craig. So that's going to enter tapped, but it's not the end of the world. Because I can play the Lair of the Hydra on turn two into a stomp on Bone Crusher Giant. Uh, this isn't the best hand. I think we're going to mulligan. Like this hand, oh, there this, you go. This deck can have way better hands. This is a lot slower of a start, but these cards are way better. Yeah. Um, so I'm actually going to mulligan the Questing Beast just because Collected Company is fucking bonkers. Uh, Sanctuary Cat. Sanctuary Cat. Why is... Uh, Kitty Tribal? Is your sound on on your phone? Uh, no. There it is. There we go. Oh, dude, we top decked a one drop. What is this? We're good at this game. <laughs> you just gotta draw exactly what you need when you need it. I would have rather that have been a uh, Elvish Mystic, I think. But you know, Hell Collector is good. He's like, oh, you're playing Elves. Probably. That's, that is probably what he thinks. Um, play the other so, Elves. Sometimes people play. Oh yeah, I mean Banana Ramp. Yeah. One banana, two banana. He's like, ah, oh, playing four. Elves. Uh. Well, but you typically don't see red green Elves. I tip my hand with the stomping grounds. Flying. Yeah. Uh. How big is that angel? Haste, baby. And this is going to turn into this. I played really poorly there. Should have played that Falcon Collector first. See, I'm trying to just play fast. Oh, he just accepts the damage. Okay. Yeah. That was kind of surprising. I thought for sure I would trade two twos. He's doing Maybe things. Maybe the uh, We're racing. We're just racing. The thing is, folks, I think I'm going to race a little faster. Burning tree. I have nothing good to do with that burning tree. Man. Oh, wait. I totally do. So I'm going to get the clothes here. Look at this. Let's go. He's like, what happened? Yeah, you got you got gruel aggroed, buddy. My board's insane. Oh yeah. Let's see, let's see what he does. I love playing this deck so much. It is just a ton of fun to just puke your hand onto the table. Yeah, but that's why I mulligan the questing beats. Is yeah. For to set up hopefully a turn like that. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Dome him for two because Clothus is nuts. Gruel Spellbreaker. He just gave up. He conceded at the Gruel Spellbreaker. Good game. Yep. Good, 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 good game. And that's how the deck is supposed to play. Exactly like that. Four minute win. Yeah. <laughs> that's another great thing. It's just the, the games are quick, whether you win or lose. Unless you're playing against control, those can be grindy. Uh, which I'm sure we'll see in the upper echelon of this ladder that we're running. We're starting off strong. Yeah, I like I'm it. Feeling good. good I know this deck very well. I did make some dumb play mistakes in that last game, though, so I'm going to try to play a little tighter this time. Um, I'll keep this. This is fine. Um, because I can turn one Land of War Elves into turn two. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, turn one land world or land world. It's not elvish mystic. Yeah, whatever. You guys know. Green mana dork. It's the same card. Fuck. Now we're playing against elves. Um, actually, I want that because I want to play that. In uh, that. Next turn, I'll likely scavenging out Galia. Um, actually, oh, he's no. Elves I'm gonna Galia into Kazandu Mammoth. That's gonna be the play. Uh, let's see, I drop this Galia into Kazandu Mammoth. And we're gonna send in the Galia plus the. Why didn't I get my Galia trigger? Where do you attack? Oh, three or more creatures. That's why. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think this is probably gonna be a lose. Ooh, I usually can't beat elves with this deck. Yeah, his board's getting real wide. Yeah. Um. Wait. That dude bigger? Questing dudes? Oh, nice. Look at that. Now we're going to attacks with those folks. Now I get my Galia trigger. Ditch that. Draw two. And make him figure out what he's doing. Yeah. Um, he's got the, this, and enough to give them the plus two, plus two. Um, oh wait, no, the Elvish charge has got summoning sickness. So I am just going to crack in for a bunch. Okay, there's a, there's hope. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of what my ideal draw here is. If I had to guess, it's Bone Crusher Giant. So I'm going to be able to sneak in some damage. Um, but yeah, like, so when I, I would like to draw a Bone Crusher Giant and then probably another Bone Crusher Giant off the Galia. I don't know. I'm going to be at a little, I'm going to struggle a little bit because I need to have a card in my hand. But I would like to play this rootbound crag to get the landfall trigger off of Kazandu Mammoth. Alright, that was not what I wanted to nope. see. Uh, but nice. Okay. Do that there. Um, no, I can nice. make you can make the nice. questing beast bigger. By doing this. Make the questing beast bigger. Then I'm just gonna go to attacks. Oof. Yep. Knew that was coming. Man, that is not what I wanted nope. there. That was bad. I needed a Bone Crusher Giant, but I think this is just where we lose. Yeah, because all this stuff has Death Touch, so now literally anything trades with Questing Beast. And all my creatures. But that was the play, was just Beat Face. Um, if he's cool, he would have just taken it. Nah. No, nah, because he's got the game. No, his opponent played very well. Yeah. He was biding his time. Um, but now we're going to do this. Into this. I'm going to make him work for it. 
Because the thing is, I can still come back with yeah. a Clothis off the top and I'm like a questing beast, but I only have two turns, I think. So I need to draw those cards in that order. Actually, probably Clothis first. Clothis then uh, Bone Crusher. Does uh, all of his stuff have Death Touch? Yeah. And let me see. How much damage am I taking? Baby crying. I'm taking 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That was awesome. What a game. Yeah. He didn't do what math right. What a game. He was off by, by one. one. Off by one. <sighs> Man, that was insane. What's your reward? Some trash, random, uncommon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Arena. Um, okay. Yeah. On to the next. Yeah. That's... Wow. I beat elves. I usually do not beat elves. He just made a mistake. Yeah, the reason I beat elves is usually when the elf player makes a mistake like that. Okay. Let's go. She doesn't have a face. It's Ashiok. Yeah, I know. Um, this hand's pretty good. I'm into this hand. A lot. Turn one pelt collector. Turn two pelt collector. <laughs> <laughs> turn three probably just bone crusher giant. And then I have the flexibility of stomp. I keep this hand. What's going on? Um, Could be a connection thing. Could be opponent is still choosing mulligans. He's got cool damnation sleeves. We're probably playing against control, if I had to guess. But, you know, it also could just be a thing with the sleeves. Yep, it was a connection thing, I'm pretty sure. Um, okay. Play the two there. Just slam the pelt collector. Slam the pelt collector. Now, there's an argument to be made. I should have played forest. To make my opponent think maybe I was on elves for a turn, but we're not that we're not going that deep. Uh, play the second pelt collector. Good stuff. All right, we're gonna attack, and my opponent's gonna fatal push the first pelt collector. It's on blue black, probably rogues or blue black control. Huh. No fatal push. Kind of surprised. Otherworldly gaze makes sense. That's what they had. They didn't have. Now they're looking for the fatal push. Yes. Um, Otherworldly gaze. Do some deck manipulation. If you could do deck manip. Ah, oh, Esper control. Okay. He revealed a third color to us. Oh no, Sarah's Emissary. <laughs> Card's so good. <laughs> this is going to be an uphill battle. Oh, Fay of Wishes. He's doing like the combo version. Uh, I'm not excited. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. And then we're going to do this. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah, attack. Yep, turn him sideways. That's what the deck does. You just turn them sideways. So next turn, I'm probably going to stomp opponent's face. Or I could just cast... It seems foolish to just cast the Bone Crusher Giant half of this card. Um, alternatively, I could Shatter Skull Smashing for the land. Um, for Shatter Skull the Hammer Pass. 
play it untapped, take three for Hazaret, and then trigger these guys again. That seems like a good play to me, yeah. too. Oh, I don't even... Okay. So we'll do that. So if I cast Hazaret, I don't get to attack. Because I'm going to have two cards in my hand. So what if I Shatter Skull for one? Because I think this says it can't block now, right? Um, oh. Actually, yeah. We'll Shatter Skull for two. Opponent's going to counterspell this. And that's fine. I'm totally cool with baiting the, the counterspell. Wow, opponent did not counterspell this. Very huh. surprised. Okay, we'll see. Just turn him sideways. Turn him sideways. So he either takes a bunch of damage. No, he's going to block. This seems like a bad play from the opponent. I mean, he's saving himself too. Eaten five. So next turn, if I top deck a land, I play the land, then I play the Hazaret. Okay. Activate the Fey. Makes sense. That was a cute trick. Nice. We'll see what he does. But I can just dome my opponent for two. Oh my gosh, that's what I'm doing. Okay, the plan has changed. Dome opponent for two. <laughs> Holy crap. On burial rights, the Sarah's emissary. No, Elish Norn! <laughs> when did that get in there? <laughs> okay, this is bad. Very bad. Very, very bad. Um, oh my gosh, I can't even play the Scoos. Um, I think I play the Hazaret. I'm trying to think. Yeah, oh, but he's going to do Sarah's Emissary next turn. He's going to get pro creatures. So I need to... Good game. No, <laughs> there's a way out of this. It's a magic puzzle for sure. That's fine. Oh, dang. No, the Hazaret was not the play. I should have Bone Crusher Giant in there. But he's not expecting the Bone Crusher Giant still. But he's going to recast... Um... Oh, wait. Oh, no, he flashed it back. Okay. So the line that I played Hazaret for still works. Um, hopefully, I top deck a land um, because I can Bone Crusher Giant and then discard a card to Hazaret to deal two. Uh, and then swing in uh, uh, to Fairy Hero Dumb. Okay. I know my responsibility. Oh, no, Time Raveler. This is not good. Because. Um, Yep, it bounces the Hazaret. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, so I think now I definitely just dome opponent. Uh, I've had games where it's come down to just drawing three Bone Crusher Giants and doming them for six. So, yeah. it can be done. He didn't get the Sarah's Emissary, which is interesting. I would have got, if I was piloting the Esper Control, I would have grabbed Sarah's Emissary named Creatures, and then my deck can't win. I mean, I'd still have the line with Bone Crusher Giant that I'm playing now. Um, but, like, all my two drops right now are turned off. So, I mean, opponent still did a good job. Like, the, like don't get me wrong, Elish Nord's still an insane card. Yep. Okay. Let's you see. not get a land. Well, I sort of did. Oh, but yeah. It's a tap land. Uh, Stone opponent. Um. And, like, now I can play the Bone Crusher Giant as a uh, 2 1 as well and he doesn't want to bounce it with Teferi 
Because then I would get stomped back. Yeah. Then you just stomp him again. Right. No, I am not making this up as I go. <laughs> That's a funny to fairy voice line. Yeah, this is a uh, struggle. Huh, we'll see. We'll see. What's he gonna get? I feel like he wants a counter spell. I wonder what his last card is? I'm on a three turn clock with the Elish Norn. A little less when I play the Bone Crusher Giant. So I play this Hazaret. Oh wait, Teferi's back at three. Man, son of a bitch. I misplayed this again. Yeah. Cause now Bone Oh man. Man. He's like, this guy's bad at magic. Yeah. Yeah, I should have played the Bone Crusher Giant there because the spell. Yeah, I should have played the Bone Crusher Giant, because he would have left it alone. Um, and then I could have played the Hazaret and attacked and got in for two. Man. You live and you learn, folks. Yep. Um. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't want to just lose the Hazaret, but I'm going to just lose the Hazaret again. It's fine. Making him take his Teferi. Well, and then he has to get rid of his Teferi to do that. Oh, yeah, he grabbed a card off of Fey of Wishes, so I wonder what it is. I think we're going to... Oh, maybe Elishnorn was the card he grabbed off Fey of Wishes, and then he ditched it. Huh. That's an interesting play. I actually may not have made as big of an error as I thought with the Teferi, because then he has to kill the Teferi. Approach the second... Uh, okay. I see. Cool. An approach. He's got a lot of showcases for this deck. This guy's probably played a ton of Esper Control. You just let me know. Wow, no, he did trade with the or he did do the thing with the Teferi. I'm very surprised. Well, now he's got approach, so one, two, three, four, five, six. He doesn't have the seven land to cast the approach. <laughs> he milled a bunch of lands. Like, he just played the Phyrexian Tower. So I wonder if he, he can sacrifice a creature. Okay, yeah, there we go. Now he can get seven lands, or seven mana. Because uh, he can sacrifice the Stitcher Supplier. What did he get? Oh, another un or another reanimate effect. Um, so this is where he probably uses the reanimator effect to get back the. Uh, what card was it? To get back the Sarah's emissary. Yeah, cast approach. Gain seven. seven. Yeah, I think this is the game. The gain seven kind of did me in. Finally stuck the Hazaret. Oops. What I did was not a mistake, sir. That was intentional. Yeah. Now he just swings for a game. Yeah. Oh, maybe he's saying oops because I could have played the Bone Crusher Giant <laughs> and lived one more turn, but I could not have won in one more turn. No. Just swing and good game. Good game, sir.
We picked up our first defeat against yeah. Esper Control. It's a very good game. Opponent opponent played very well. Let's see. Yeah, so we've been on a real journey with this tournament so far. Yeah. All right. Only the first loss though. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. You'll get it. Let's see. Uh all right, Rodimus Prime, let's go. I'm excited for this match, sir. This is a good hand. Yeah, it's got what I like to see. Turn one Land of War Elves. Turn... It's a little wonky because of the Pelt Collector. But hey, what do you, what do, you do? Because I would... Like, because I have access to turn two Gruel Spellbreaker. Oh, well, this got a lot better. Because now we do this into that. And my opponent could be on burn. If he's on burn, he hates to see a turn two scavenging ooze. Mm -hmm. He's going to waste a burn spell on it. Yeah, yep. there's an unholy heat. Uh, probably is it Phoenix? That's what I put opponent on right now. Just based on the unholy heat. Yep, definitely is it Phoenix. Or Red Black. It's not the good Faithless looting either. No, it's the Japanese one. Uh, what did he discard? Oh, Mono Red! No, okay. Opponents on burn. Hollow one burn. Well, let's race. Trade four fours? Seems good. We give one of those cards away. Hollow one? Yep. Yeah. Foil hollow one. Hollow one's good. Uh... Turn them sideways. I'll play that this way. Turn them sideways. Faithless looting, continuing to just dig through his deck. How does Hollow cost two ledge for each card you've cycled this turn? Yep. Cycled or discarded. That makes sense. Sorry, bud. I've got Amiket cards too. Put them on the adventure. Yep. Stomp face. Exert. Hollow one can't block. Oh, yeah. Let's race! Turn him sideways! It's got an Ox of Agnos? We're not out of the weeds. Yep, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Wow, opponent is dead set on getting rid of my creatures. Um. <laughs> I mean, next turn I'm just going to slam the Bone Crusher Giant. Yeah. But I win if I draw a Bone Crusher Giant. Yeah, you oh, oh, opponent killed himself. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Did the hard part for me. Whoops. Doing, doing the difference between one and zero. All right, that was a quick win. Aggro versus burn, gotta love it. Yay! Win. You could also call my deck mid range, I suppose, but I don't know. It's a lot of, a lot of dudes. All right, Duress, Pat Pasito, Duress Pasito. I get it, Duress Pasito. Very good. That's yeah, a, that's a clever name. I am, I'm into it. Um, I probably shouldn't have kept this hand. This hand's actually really bad. Why did I hit keep? Oh, two Embercleaves. No. Two Embercleaves is so bad. They're legendary. Yeah, you can't have two of them. Uh, okay. Forest go. <laughs> I mean, I could turn to Voltaic and to... Yeah, see, this is awkward. Um, We're going to do that. Into that. 
and say go. That's, that's just turn two. Oh no, I hate playing against this deck. It's awful. Um, and see, this is why it's awkward. Because if I would have had this Land of War Elves, then I could be casting the Collected Company right now. Yeah. Oh, enchantments. This, this is going to be a hard one. I just got to race faster. What deck does he have? Enchantments. What's this say? Shroud. Players can't get counters. Counters can't be put on artifacts, creatures, enchantments, or lands. Weird. Oh, Solemnity. He's playing nine lives. Solemnity combo. Race. Face race. Uh, yes, please. Bang, bang. So, next turn, we're going to Amber Cleave, I think. And I think just win. Yeah. He's searching for the nine lives. Can he play the nine lives? No. He loses the... G oh, oh, no, yeah, he can! Yeah. He can! All right, that's the I'm not making you guys sit through this. Why? What, what happens? Um, I can't win the game anymore. And... Not, like so no counters go on line nine lives so I can't damage my opponent anymore my yeah. opponent yeah that's how that works that's what the solemnity does so counters can't be put on things nine lives um, you can't take damage or each time a source would deal damage to you you uh, put a counter on nine lives and you don't um, take it like it prevents the damage okay um, and then, when nine lives has nine counters on it, you sacrifice it and lose the game. Um, but, because of Solemnity, the counters don't go on it. You just, I can't damage my opponent anymore. And oh. I don't have any enchantment removal. I was a turn too slow. Yeah. Last one. Can't lose anymore. Victor. And my opponent's name is Victor. That means I'm probably going to lose. Uh, Stomping Ground, River and Crag, Land of War Elves, Voltaic, Brawler, Bone Crusher, Questing Beast, Collected Company. This hand seems pretty good. Not going to lie. I'm into this hand. A Land of War or a uh, Burning Tree Emissary would make this hand like golden. If Questing Beast said Burning Tree Emissary, this hand's cracked. All right. Pretty good victory. Uh, that was quick. Let's move on to the next. What? Opponent scooped. Opponent said not today. I guess I was the victor. Wow. That was an easy win. All right. That's good. Putting us into a better tier of prizes for sure. A Maestro's Charm. Wow. Thanks, Wizards. Um, do I get entry fee back with this? No. Not quite. I think entry fee is somewhere. Is, might be here. And then that's entry fee back. But it's gems, not gold. I put gold in, whatever. I just want to make the entry fees back. And yeah. then, you know, collect a couple packs, and then I got to play the game of Magic. Uh, but if you do really, if you win these tournaments, then you can stack up tokens that will get you into the uh, Invitational Events on Arena. But you have to do it 20 times. I thought it was once. No, it's 20 times. 20 times. You have to seven, two, seven times. Wow. Or 20 times to get into that thing. That's crazy. Yeah. I probably shouldn't have kept this hand. Um, nah, it's all right. I'm just going to take some pain off of my lands, which is okay. Ooh. Hammer time? Is that what I'm playing against? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Affinity hammer time. Okay. Uh, so we're racing again. Um... Uh, So it sucks. I don't have anything good to do with this two mana. Um. So. Yeah. No. Which is okay. 
Next turn, I think I Coco or Questing Beast. Depends on what my opponent does here. Portable hole. He's going to portable hole my Lana War Elves. Watch. No? Interesting. Kind of surprised. Sort of surprised at how that played out. Coco. This is interesting. I definitely take the burning tree. Oh my god, I can get Clothis hold up. So yeah, burning tree, Clothis. Okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's gross. And because of the burning tree, I got to do pelt collector. You want to trade two twos? I'll trade two twos. Yeah, Clothis is kind of absurd there. What's the eight on him right now? Um, it's my devotion. Oh, okay. But now he's not a creature a creature anymore. But I've got the I've got another Coco, the Questing Beast. But here I'll probably play the Questing Beast because he's got the Esper Sentinel. I'm not trying to pay this guy mana or letting him draw cards. Yeah, bye. Um, I think I lied. <laughs> I do just want a Coco. <laughs> well, you can have your card, buddy. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. He's just scooping. He was not expecting Coco into Coco. Collected company is so good. Man, if you just can keep getting victories like this. I mean, that's kind of the goal, right? Yeah. This is going way better than uh, the Ors deck was last yeah. time. Um, so yeah, I think we're at money back and I don't know. It might be 450 to enter these events. I might need to win one more for money back, but we're taking it to seven. We don't need to worry about just making entry fee back. We're getting seven yeah. wins. And yes, folks, it is a, a little longer video because I'm doing better. Yeah. I don't know, but I mean, the games have been pretty snappy. Yeah. They the only game that was long was the control game. I mean, we're at 37 minutes. Oh, well. It's nice. It'd be nice to have uh, a magic hangout with John and Gavin. Yeah. Where you watch Gavin make some play mistakes. Uh, probably shouldn't have kept this hand, but, you know, that's what I say every time, right? Actually, no. This hand's fine. Um, I'm going to enter let that enter tapped. I don't need to take an unnecessary two. Because I've got Burning Tree into Voltaic Brawler, and that's what you want to see. Honestly, the most cracked hands, you have, like, two Burning Tree Emissaries into a Voltaic Brawler. Or there was one time I had, like, what? So he had seven cards. It was, like, a Bone Crusher Giant, two lands, two Burning Tree Emissaries, and, like, a ball. Oh. Wow. Look at me. Gotta play lands to cast our spells. Um, I'm too busy recounting, like, the most cracked hands with this, uh, with this deck. Huh. I've got an interesting choice. I think I'm going to play the Voltaic Brawler to bait out the removal. Opponent's playing some ultimatum deck, and I'm probably not going to win. If I had to guess. Yep. Baited out the, the removal like I wanted to. Because I need to stick the Scoos. There's no point in me attacking. Yeah. Other than me saying, yeah! Feel it. Harmonic energy. Do you have another burn spell, sir? I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. No, he doesn't. Let's go! Oh no! <laughs> Dang it! I needed the scoos. <laughs> I needed to draw an untapped land last turn. If I would have drawn an untapped land, that would not have happened. Um, but it's all right. We press on. What's the play? 
think. Just a fat ghoul spellbreaker. Yeah, he's got one threes. This is awkward. Very awkward. He's got one threes, and I cannot deal with one threes. So make my guy a four four. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. He is just popping off right now. It's like playing in Storm. Yep. Oh. And he's taking forever. Like, I know you got a lot of decisions for him, but. Just play, yeah. your, just play your cards. Now he's gonna attack, and now he's gonna have to get the thing and do the thing and play with fire. Because now he's gonna rebound the play with fire when he attacks with the Red Horde Arcanist, and that's gonna take a bunch of clicks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> can't believe he had the another play with fire. I can't believe they printed that card. It's just better shock. Yeah. Like, shock, scry one. I'm like, okay. Yep. 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 All right. All Dirt, right. Geez. Okay. Get him. Yeah. That's about all you can do. Another oh. one? Oh, this is rough. All right, he's going to trigger all this shit and yes. just keep going. Yep. 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 Okay. Good job, buddy. You're doing really good. Oh, cool. Got to bolt me. Yep. All right. Yep. Can you just swing now? Now Dreadhorde Arcanus is going to pop off. And we're going to have to do this some more. Yeah, I'm not sitting through this. I'm not, and I'm not that was his. That's all right. That was still pretty good. That was way better than last time. Yeah. I'm not disappointed. Oh, all right. Let's right. see the winnings. Yeah. We'll open some packs. Because I have a couple other packs to open as well. End this video with an open it. Claim prize. Oh, yeah. I made our money back. So we can uh, do another one. Uh, Let's open some packs. Open some packs. Oh, I forgot about three of these. What are we going to get? Oh. What is it up? Why is that like that? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's one of the six-sided cards, probably. That's probably why that's like that. I didn't even care about the rare. I'm like, what are, the, what are, the, what are you? Oh, okay. Just move on, I guess. <laughs> Didn't even see what the rare was. What are you? Mirror, Mirror of life tapping. tapping. Trapping. Trapping. Huh. Okay. Uh, we got an almond cat pack. Hemotep. Ah, uh, yes, the return of Hemotep. Uh, dispossess. A pack. Kind of garbage. Sunscorched Edger. Hey, you. Hieroglyphic Illumination. An Essence Scatter. Nah. And nah. Ravica. Shockland. Shockland. Gimme, give gimme give the Shockland. Gimme, give gimme give the Shockland. You didn't gimme, gimme give the no. Shockland. What a poop pack. All right, ladies All right. and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us on today's arena video. Hopefully, you have been enjoying these. That was a fun tournament. Yeah. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe, hit check the us out on bell all notification. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at the Real Let's Open It yes. on pretty much all of those things. Yeah, and we'll see you next time. And as always.
Bye-bye.